Hey what's going on guys, 30 Bertie here and welcome back to another Minecraft mining tutorial for version 1.15. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering how we can go ahead and make custom modelled items. Now this may be a lot simpler than you think it might be um, and to cover it this late in the series was a bit stupid of me um, because it is so simple. Um, it's very similar to the block models, uh, custom block models, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create our model, and as you can see I have created one here. Uh, it doesn't really look like an item model, it looks more like a block model. Uh, I don't really know what it is, I just kind of put some cubes together, gave them some textures, and I got this. So, um, yeah. And obviously you need to go ahead in the display tab and go ahead and do the display settings for all of the different uh, ones. Now you can go ahead into display and you can apply one of these uh, presets, so a rod, uh, a weapon, a block or an item. And you can apply that to specific slots or to all slots. Or you can go ahead and create a new preset and do that yourself. Um, so then once you've made the model, you can go ahead and just export. Now, before you make the model, I should mention, it does need to be a Java block slash item. Um, that's probably quite obvious because it's an item. Um, so I would hope you would choose that one anyways. Now, before we go ahead and export it, we do just want to make sure we save the project as a BB model. And the reason for that is because uh, we just want to make sure um, it doesn't break or anything. So we can easily edit it afterwards um, since importing a JSON can break some things. So let's just export as a block slash item model. And I can go ahead and put that in our source main resources assets tutorial mod um, textures no not textures uh, models block and no not block item and just put that in here so I'm going to call this um, I'm just going to call it custom underscore item okay and now we can just close block bench now if we open um, our mod here we can just go into our init uh, package go into item minutes go all the way down to the bottom and we can just do a simple public static final registry object and we can just use um, item and I'm going to call this custom underscore item is equal to items dot register custom underscore item and this can literally just be a new item it's it's really as simple as that and obviously that takes in the properties as normal and we can just uh, group that with our group here and do any other settings that you wish to uh, act upon that item don't worry about the highlighting here it hasn't uh, loaded yet I don't think not really sure I oh, know we have an error up here yeah so my mod is being a bit weird right now and it is having this issue but it shouldn't stop the game from loading or anything so obviously we need to go ahead and refresh our resources package and we need to do the lang so let's go into the lang come down all the way to the bottom and we can do item dot tutorial mod dot custom underscore item and we can call that custom item and if we now go ahead and run the game uh, run client and proceed I'm gonna ignore that error then we should see that our item is in the game okay so guys as you can see uh, I am now in the game 
and I have my uh, custom modeled item right here um, so yeah I mean it's an item so obviously we can't uh, place it anywhere now I would just like to mention um, about that little error I had in my project um, turns out I actually couldn't run the game with that error um, so what I had to do was uh, just right click my project and uh, click refresh gradle project and that fixed it also this dimension is really laggy I'm gonna go into a less laggy world um, so yeah I did have to go ahead refresh the gradle project and that did fix that error um, so yeah I mean it's a custom model item what can I say uh, there's really not much more to it um, I will in the future be going over um, using a renderer to have custom items um, which will allow us to do um, some very interesting things for items um, more rendering stuff to do with them uh, so that will be fun um, so yeah uh, if you guys did enjoy this uh, tutorial please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe if you really enjoyed it please do be sure to share it and uh, yeah I will see you guys in the next video goodbye